Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to make your smart home door sensor into an Amazon enabled alarm with a door sensor connected to Smart Life. To do this, you will first need to download the apps in this picture, and yes, you will have to pay for them. For the plugins, go to the auto apps and tap on the ones with color to pay. Total I had paid for this in Malaysia were 15 for Tasker. 13 for auto voice and 10 for auto notification. Now, once that's all done, let's begin. First, run your Smart Life app. Click on Scene at the bottom. Then click on Create Scene or click the plus sign at the top. Click when device status changes. Select your door sensor, select the door sensor function, select open, click the plus on then, select send notification, select messaging center, change the name to something short, I put alarm, click save, then click yes. Click tap to run, click create scene, tap to run again, tap the plus sign on then, click the select smart scenes, click select automation and the scene you named earlier, click enable and then click next, then proceed to change the name of this button that will enable the notification function. I call it enable alarm and then you want to click save and this is the second button to disable click the plus sign tap to run and tap then smart scene automation your scene disable click next rename to disable whatever your scene is click ok save. Next, we need to disable the main automation. Now go to the automation tab, turn it off. Now for the slightly more complex part. Open Tasker, click on the task tab, click the plus button, click on create, name your task to anything you want. Now click the plus button again, look for plugins, and click on auto voice. Look for trigger Amazon routine. Now click configuration. Create a new device and name it whatever you want. Click the check and go back. Next we need to link your auto voice. Open up your Amazon app. Click on more skills and games and search for auto voice select the one that only says auto voice click on launch and it will ask you to link your amazon account close and select your echo if it prompted. Now let's go back to Tasker. Back one page. Click on profiles. Click on the orange plus sign. Create. Event. Plugin. Auto notification, intercept, click configuration. If prompted, click on OK to turn on notifications. Mine was buggy and it seemed on. So when I check, it's fine. And when you're done with that, just click back. Search for apps. Click 
search for smart life Type in the name that the Smart Life should send you as a message. In my case, it was alarm. Click case insensitive. Go back. Click on the check mark. Go back again. Click on the option below new task. Now go back to task. Click on your task. Click on the plus sign. Plugins auto notification cancel configuration and then click ok in this case my notification settings were iffy so i disabled and re-enabled it if your automation doesn't work you can try this out now click on apps search for smart life click on it click on ok go to title filter this would be the notification that's sent to you from smart life and click OK case it insensitive click the check go back and exit so these are all the things that we need to do for tasker so now it's going to be the next step go into Amazon menu routines create a routine name it this will be the routine that runs if the alarm is triggered select the trigger as the auto voice button name you created add action you can add anything for now because we just want to back to Amazon menu add routine name it your army name select and select your trigger word you can choose more than one Customize a message Amazon would send you. I want to have a 10 second head start. Now, for 
disabling the alarm. Let's give it a verbal confirmation that it's off. At the bottom, choose the device you speak to. Now click Save. Next, we're going to edit your original alarm trigger so that it plays the things that you want it to play. Locate your test alarm earlier. Remove the test action and add a new action. Select custom and type in call your name that's saved in your phone. Then put in the alert at the end so it knows to call just that device instead of your mobile. Add your voice profile name if you have multiple voice profiles. Now click review action and your Android device should be called for now. Once it's done, just hit the next button. Next, add the same. And choose your verbal warning. settings, volume, adjust the volume to the max, add action again, device settings, sounds and pick a sound that you like. Do this as many times as you want. I did it three times. Now it's time to arrange your actions. Move the lower volume to just before the call me instructions and shuffle where you want your Amazon messages and sounds to be after the max volume. Select your Amazon device, click back to save, and we're done. Let's get ready for test. Everything's going well. Um, alarm. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Leave immediately. Calling authorities now. Calling 
It's calling my phone right now. Cancel. Disable alarm. Alarm disabled. 